this still looks so bad. And the bun is sticking out too. Uh, why does hers look so good? This looks literally so bad. My hair is one thing, but it's literally one thing. It's just brown. I always want to do something to my hair, but I'm too shy to, not shy, but just scared to do it. So I think a wig is the way to go. So let's see all the details of having a wig. Where do you get wigs? Like that's been my main question. Like sure, there's probably wig stores, but like I want a bright, very interesting, different wig like that Kylie Jenner would wear. Like where do you get that? I'll have to say it's really easy to find like brown, blonde, every shade of blonde and every shade of brown but you cannot find bright colored wigs because I guess nobody wants it. So after tearing through the web, I found a lot of spiders. No, I'm kidding. No, I did. There's a lot of bad stuff. But I found a Bellamy because Kylie Jenner tagged somebody and it just seems very legit. Hopefully, I found what I'm looking for. So I was like, okay, synthetic is the way to go because it's like around $100, $150. It's pink and purpley and looks real. Oh my god, it's perfect pretty much. At least I think so. At least online it looks good. Which you can never trust photos because I can Photoshop it. Like Kylie does. Oh uh, no, but okay. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna order it. I got it. Well, I didn't technically get it yet, but it's like right outside my house. Hi! Hey, for yoga? Yes, indeed. You like your well. nails. Thank you. <laughs> he liked my nails. And I got the package. Okay, let's open it. This is so heavy and it's also like big. Did I order some more Ikea stuff or is this a wig? I really don't even know. It's so big of a box. This straight up looks like a shoe box. Whoa, that's so pretty. I love that color. Oh my God, what do I do? The box is pretty, the wig is pretty, like so far so good. So yeah, there's only like directions on like rinsing or washing the wig. So because I was testing my inner wig brain skills, which I didn't have any, that's not right because then you're gonna see this. I look like an egg. <laughs> oh, I'm sure I'm not doing this right. But what do I do with this? Cause it's just like hanging out at the bottom. So my very not planned plan is to Flip my head upside down and then do that. Okay, that totally did not work. Oh, uh, what is this? I don't even know what this little like, net thing is. I think I just need to watch it. Oh yeah, okay, I'm gonna watch a video. So they are plucking, gluing, and sticking. Glue, pluck, cut. Huh? I am so confused. Why would you glue something to your head? Is I don't want that there forever. Like, just imagine. Ooh. Oh my god. What am I gonna do? So they're gluing their hair so that it's super flat so it doesn't look so puffy. I, okay, I'm very confused. Since the girl said to glue, I kind of glued. I'm gonna go on uh, my head. I just grabbed some of this hair paste and I just took it on a toothbrush and like smeared it on my roots. So I think we're pretty good. It's pretty sleek now. I feel like I definitely look a little eggy. It's perfect. <laughs> so the hair net little cap thing is on. She did say to put your hair upside down and then just flip it on. Okay, it still looks bad. Okay. I don't even understand why this doesn't come with directions because I'm really frustrated. I don't know why I'm crying. So I calmed down and me and my mom were brainstorming. We were like, oh, let's go to like a wig salon. Maybe like a place that would have like wigs and maybe they can put it on me, give me some tips for you and me. We are heading to the hair wig salon. Hopefully they can help me out. Cause um, I look like a troll, like, but like a little bit like of a brown troll. So the girl was really, really nice at the wig salon. She set me down at like their like cutting booth and then she put the wig cap on and she like rolled it and that just looked really really puffy so we didn't I wasn't really into that um, she was really really nice so she took that down and then she pinned my hair and then she put the wig cap on and then she like unsnapped like the wig and then she snapped it on my head so she applied the wig it's overall just confusing so I'm really glad I went there and she put it on me so I feel like now I know what to do so that was awesome but now I'm hungry <laughs> So, I'm in the restaurant. Nobody is, oh yeah, everybody's looking at my hair right now. Oh, no, probably because I'm filming. Um, <laughs> so we got the smoothie assemble, and then the person working there was cleaning up like, kind of right in front of us and he saw me and he was like, are you a living assemble or something? Like, I don't know what he was thinking. Um, anywho, I'm feeling pretty funky, so yeah. I realized 
I am a troll from the Trolls movie. Like, it's kind of like poofy and bright colored, and I feel like I'm like, oh, I'm a little happy troll or something. Like, but I'm like, wait, I need to go to Target and find like a little troll doll. I found the Trolls doll that looks like me. So I've been just walking around. I've gotten some interesting looks. They're definitely like very funny. I found the Trolls doll. Like, life is just kind of complete right now. <laughs> no, but seriously, it's actually really fun wearing the wig. Because I wasn't done at Target, I went down to the shoe section. So I was just like walking around. Like, my hair looks pretty good you know what I mean like I really like like just like the texture of it I feel like it doesn't look too fake just besides the poof at the top because now it's getting less poofy so that is a plus um so I'm digging it so yeah pretty much all black white gray so then this the wig really really pops um I really really like it it's just that like bump right here it's just like eh, eh. it's just I mean, a little frustrating also when the wig is in the sun my hair just looks kind of like fake when it's out in the sun it just doesn't have that natural shine and the way it feels isn't really that bad you know it's like a little heavier because I have my real hair and this on so it's just heavier but the real test is taking it off so since there's these like little clips in the wig I'm gonna like pull it off like from the top so I just popped off the wig and the hair cap because it kind of just popped off with it the hard part wasn't taking off the wig, it's just getting the, all the bobby pins out of your hair because she like pinned it up. So then you just put it on the little stand and brush it. It honestly isn't really that bad. It looks so pretty. It looks like real hair kind of, which is so mind blowing, even though it's like plastic. It's kind of fun. It's like, you know like the Hannah Montana movie, how she has like the wigs and everything? It's just, it's like cool. It's like that like, I don't know how to describe it. It's just like a fun thing to do. I'll have to say, waking up and seeing this, I was like, what is that? And then I was like, oh, oh, my pretty wig. Putting it on the second day was totally easy. You just have to have patience and you have to have the right supplies and have like the right idea of what you're supposed to be doing in your mind. So the plan is, the person at the wig salon put my hair up like this when she applied the wig for me, but I'm gonna braid my hair first. So then it'll be a little easier for me to put it on top of my head and pin it down. I think it's gonna work. So I'm only gonna braid halfway down because I feel like if I do all of it, it might look kind of bumpy up there. Then I'm just gonna bobby pin this up on my head. Okay, that kind of worked. So now that it looks like a five-year-old cut my hair, or maybe I'm five and I cut my hair and I didn't know it, who knows. Okay, I'm now gonna go in with the wig. Oh, lovely, hi, how are you? I can't see you. I think I'm doing it right. I think you just need patience. Like honestly, I don't have any. I'm just trying to be patient for you. Only you, not me. I'm just gonna like throw this all on, whoa, okay. Uh, but now I'm like clipping the clips into my head so then it stays in place. Yeah, overall, I think it looks kind of like how she did it. So I really recommend braiding your hair halfway so then it's easier to, you know, put it up here with the bobby pins. Also, the wig totally smells different. Oh my god, it smells like vanilla. That's really weird. Am I just realizing that? Maybe a troll like peed on my wig and maybe troll pee smells like vanilla, who knows. Um, but it smells really good. <laughs> Hopefully it's not troll pee. <laughs> uh. And the poofiness is definitely going down by the daily, so that's awesome. And I think it's just so cool. Like, I just feel, like, different and interesting and, like, funky in it. I just love it. I feel like it spices me up. I don't know if that makes sense. But so far, honestly, it's so fun wearing a wig. It's just, you know, you have to have patience putting it on. A roundup on the wig, I give it a huge thumbs up. Honestly, in the beginning, I'm like, oh, I'm gonna hate this. But it's just, you know, you can't expect like to look like Kylie Jenner in the first, you know, 20 seconds of putting on the wig. Like, it takes practice, but I feel like if you watch more videos and if you have more patience than me, you'll have an easy, you know, time applying it. But I really, really like it. It's just, it's so fun. And this could last like years, you know what I mean? So like, you can't really outgrow a wig. And I'd recommend it to you. Just make sure you're getting like a decent quality wig because I feel like if you get like a really, really cheap one, it might, you know, look a little fake or a lot of fake. Yeah. I really recommend Bellamy. I really like the wig and I'm really impressed. Just have patience. So I really hope you enjoyed this video. Also, I have a makeup brush line, which is super, super exciting. I'll have a link down below if you want to go check it out. And thank you so much for watching. Huggy huggies. I'm going to go buy more wigs. Literally, I'm obsessed.